are soaking in the final weekend of July and we are answering some of the top viewer questions right here on the Weather Network this morning. Nadine Powell is with us and Nadine, this theme, I want to keep it all about Nova Scotia. Just last weekend, we experienced historic flooding, especially within the Halifax region, and we had so many questions about it come into our newsroom. So the first one is this here. What caused the torrential rainfall in Halifax on July 21st and July 22nd? Well, you know, the Maritimes is no stranger to heavy rainfall events just because of the proximity to a source of moisture. But in this particular instance, we had several ingredients come together. We had a lot of thunderstorms that continued to move over the same era for an extended period of time. And thunderstorms are prolific rainmakers. And then the other thing is that we had that source of moisture coming all the way from the tropics. So with the alignment of those two over mm -hmm. that region, uh, it was just heavy rain event after heavy rain event. And I remember why watching the radar because I came into work on Saturday morning and this is when the whole situation was unfolding. The evacuation orders were in place and the radar just seemed to be endless. It was a horrible setup across Nova Scotia. And this sort of leads us to our next question a lot of viewers had is why was this Halifax flooding event hard to predict? Well, you know, in a case where you have such a localized event occurring, sometimes it is uh, difficult to predict that from the point of view of weather models. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times it's a now casting situation where you realize, okay, there are some ingredients in place, but in terms of those training thunderstorms and this happening over a particular period for such an extended period of time, it's kind of like now casting. You just have to go with what is happening in the moment to make that prediction. And of course, it was really hard for officials on the ground trying to get the evacuation orders in place. Water rescues were happening throughout the entire day on Saturday. And I think for a lot of people in Nova Scotia, they've experienced enough weather. So this was our next question, a very popular one that came into our newsroom. How did Nova Scotia go from historic fire to historic flood in just one summer? Well, you know, the two occurring back to back often occurs in many different parts of the country mm -hmm. and it can be quite disastrous because the fires that you've had from before that has really void the era of vegetation and it creates an impervious layer so now when you're getting that heavy rainfall it splashes but not necessarily infiltrates and mm -hmm. soaks into the soil it's almost like when you have a potted plant and it's been sitting there dry for some time and you put water on it that water bubbles over the sides yeah. first before actually infiltrating into the soil. So the fire essentially was a factor in why it flooded because the ground just couldn't soak it in, right? Yeah, you need essentially slow, steady rainfall for mm -hmm. that infiltration rather than the heavy rainfall that we had with those floods. So